This is the Mathematics Literature Project, and I'm going to show you how you can use this wiki to record the freely accessible URLs for mathematics papers. To get started, you're first of all going to have to log in. I've already created an account, so when you do this for the first time, there'll be an extra step. Let's go back to the main page now. Let's look at the journal Discrete Mathematics and one of its issues. You'll see all the papers appearing in this issue listed here with their titles, authors, and a link to the published version of the paper. Over on the right hand side are links to freely accessible versions. For example, here's a link to this same paper on the archive. And here's a link on an author's webpage. Someone's already been here and started filling in some of these links, but further down there are plenty more to do. For any paper where we don't know a freely accessible URL, there's already a little icon here to help you search on Google Scholar. Let's go there. We have to be a little careful here. We're looking for the paper Wiener Index of Iterated Line Graphs of Trees Homeomorphic to H, but the first result is about trees homeomorphic to the claw. Let's scroll down a little and see if we can find what we're looking for. This one might be it. The main link here is just a link direct to the publisher's webpage. But if you click on all three versions here, Google Scholar will tell us everything else it found. Sure enough, here's a copy of the paper posted on an author's web page. Let's copy this URL and enter it into the wiki. We just have to click on the red link here. And we get an edit box. Let's paste in that URL we just got, and then save the page. Unfortunately, because of the way the wiki is set up for now, it takes us back to this data page rather than the table of contents we were looking at a moment ago. If you click back twice, you'll end up where you were. You have to also click reload so that the content you just entered shows. Great. There's the link to the copy on the author's webpage. Let's move on to the next paper. This looks like the right one. Let's look at all versions. Unfortunately, oh, there we go. There's a, a copy of this paper on the archive. Let's right click here and copy the link to the abstract page on the archive. Now let's Insert this by clicking on the red link, pasting it into the box, and clicking Save. After we reload the page, this URL for the paper appears. Let's click on it just to double check that we really did the right thing. If you realize you made a mistake, you can click on this pencil icon to edit the link that you inserted previously. Let's do one more. This looks like the right result. Let's click on all two versions. But unfortunately, now Google Scholar finds nothing except the copy of the paper on the publisher's web page. If we were being thorough, we probably should go and do a separate Google search for the authors now and check on their homepages to see if we can find a copy ourselves that Google Scholar missed. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to skip that step. Since we failed to find a freely accessible URL, let's record that fact. Click on the red link and type in the text, none available. Now save. Back twice. And reload. This shows up nicely highlighted in red as a paper that's not freely accessible anywhere on the internet. Hopefully that's enough for you to, for, that's enough for you to go on and you can contribute to the wiki yourself now. Thanks.